My name is Joseph. I'm from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. My worst bullying experience was in gym class where this guy pulled out a Bible on me and told me I was going to hell and there was nothing I could do to prevent it. And when I asked him the question, like, aren't Christians supposed to love everybody? Isn't that what God's trying to teach everybody? He replied and said, I love gays the way I love murderers and prostitutes. And that's, that's so far from the truth. Like, murderers and prostitutes are completely different than gay people, you know? Being gay, you don't hurt anybody. There's nothing to take away from society by being gay. I want to be religious, but um, I don't see why I should go to the church when God doesn't even like me. I don't understand why he doesn't like me, because aren't we all supposed to be God's children and he created us? created us equal, but yet the gay people he doesn't like. I thought about committing suicide my freshman year. It was right after I came out and um, I was experiencing a lot of teasing during that time. And I, I didn't know how to handle it because I was still new to it. I was still trying to find ways to cope with it. And um, just one night I decided it wasn't worth like what I go through on a daily basis just for being who I am. And if people didn't want to accept me for who I was, then I should, you know, just not be me. I shouldn't, I shouldn't even be here. So I remember one night I was listening to some songs and I just, I was getting so upset. I, I really didn't know why. What I did, what I did, that was so horrible for nobody to accept me. So I remember I got some some sleeping pills, and I went to my room. My plan was that I would take sleep pills and I would drink free. So I was not to sleep. And um. The first thought that came into my mind was like, what about my mom? She like means so much to me. And I like, I don't want her to go through that pain of losing her son. I don't, she, she doesn't deserve that, you know. She's been there for me forever. She provided for me and she's, she's such an inspiration. And I, did, I didn't want to let her down like that, you know. She raised someone who was much stronger than that. And then something else popped in my head. It was, what about my little sister? What is my little sister going to think when she finds out that her big brother committed suicide? The one who's supposed to be all tough and, like, you know, goes through everything without shedding a tear. What's she going to think? And she, then, like, if she's going through bullying, I did not want that to be in her head. Because I just didn't want her give, to give her the thought of, um, sorry, of um, being, you know, committing suicide just because you're being bullied. I had, I had, to, I had to show her that you have to remain strong. Sorry, it's just I get so emotional talking about suicide because I almost took my own life. I just didn't want the people who were bullying me, I didn't want them to feel like they won also. Like they, they found my breaking spot, they found my weakness. And that ultimately means they win. But I knew if I wanted to show them that they, you know, weren't better than me, all I had to do was just walk in and act like everything was okay. Paint this big old smile on my face and just walk in with my head held high. I knew like that would get to them 
besides like taking my life because then like they win my idol is Adam Lambert he is not ashamed in who he is and he inspires me to just take pride in being gay my dream is to become a dad and a husband one of these days I do feel like we are on like the verge of acceptance from everybody and hopefully by the time I'm old enough I could be able to have a husband and a kid and have a nice family that that's my ultimate goal it's just to be a great dad and a husband so hopefully it'll come true